today we're going to be doing some no heat curls and we're going to be using some bandanas to do this. So what you want to do is take the bandana and just fold it in half and then you want to roll it up lengthwise. You can actually use any kind of fabric you want for this, but I have found that the bandanas are the perfect size and they are pretty inexpensive to buy. And I'm just going to have her hold this while I get her hair ready to put it in. So you can do as many sections as you want with this. I usually stick with three, and the more sections you do, it's going to be more curly. Before you put the bandana in, you're going to want damp hair. So I am just spraying this with a little bit of water. You probably don't want it soaking wet because it'll take a long time to dry. I have this first section of hair ready, and to put the bandana in, you just want to fold it in half and then wrap it around the top of that section just so that the ends are pretty much the same length. And then you're going to take the hair and make a figure eight braid or an infinity braid with it. And to do that, you're going to wrap the hair around one side of the bandana and then bring it up through the middle and then wrap it around the other side and bring it up through the middle. So you just repeat this all the way down. If you have extremely long hair, you're going to want to make these sections pretty tight so that you'll have enough bandana to last all the way down. And then when you get here almost to the bottom where you're running out of ends, just take them and wrap them around the same side a couple of times so that you're sure that those ends are going to get curled. And then you can just tie that off at the bottom. So there's the first one. You can obviously do these sections however you want. I'm also trying to avoid having a center part back here that's going to be noticeable. So one of these sections I'm getting about right there in the middle. So again, I'm going to dampen this with a little bit of water. Okay, we're ready to put in the second bandana. We are really liking these curls lately because they are super easy and quick to put in. You only need a couple of sections compared to many that you would need with most traditional curlers. And these are also very comfortable to sleep in because they're soft and they're not too bulky. All right, I'm going to quickly put this last bandana in and then she is going to sleep on these overnight and we will show you the results in the morning. All right, so there's what it looks like with the bandanas all in place. So we will see you in the morning. Hey guys, here we are the next morning. She slept on these overnight and we are just going to take them out and see what we've got. The other thing I love about these curls is that they are super easy to take out. The hair doesn't get snagged, and it is very quick. So that is what the curls look like. It's more of a wave, kind of a beachy wave, I would say. If you want a tighter curl, you would want to do more sections than I did here. So you're probably not going to want to comb this out too much because it'll just make frizz. What I usually do is just kind of comb the top and bring those parts together. To finish this style off, we are just going to add a headband. And then I'm just going to bring these front pieces back into a little half ponytail. Flip 